Hello and welcome to day seven of Helping Others. So today I want to encourage you to keep balanced. It's easy when we're helping others to do too much and that's either because we're doing it for the wrong reasons, we're doing it to feel valuable when we're valuable enough already and we're, we actually need to be helping others from our surplus rather than from our feeling of lack. Maybe it's just circumstances, maybe we are in a position where there is a lot to do uh, maybe there's a, a, a relative or a friend who needs our help and if it's becoming too much for us and it's not enjoyable that's when we need to reach out for support either from official channels you know from from the, the local government or from from friends and family ask for help it's not all your responsibility and it's supposed to be uh, uplifting for you as well to help another if it stops being that then something's out of balance and it's okay to ask for help there is a limit to what one person can easily do. Also maybe you're helping in the wrong way, maybe this isn't your talent, maybe you're finding yourself in a situation where it really isn't uh, your strong point and you really need to delegate and ask someone else to do that and you find something else that's more suitable for you and more suitable way of, of helping. Again you know our value isn't related to what we do to help others, we're doing it because it feels good yes it does help of course it helps but we're doing it because it feels good for us and if it stops feeling good then we're either doing too much uh, we're, we're feeling overwhelmed because we're, we're doing it alone or because we're not playing to our strengths and actually we need to do something different so just be mindful of that today and know that whatever you can do to help another is uh, is valuable uh, but you've, you're, you're only one person and uh, you can't take on all the world's problems get some support all right, I hope you've had a wonderful week and you've found some tips and tricks to help you increase your well-being. And I look forward to joining you next week to talk about connecting with others. All right, have a great day. So I thought a wonderful meditation for this week would be a loving kindness meditation, where along with all the usual benefits of meditation, we have the, uh, the focus is on having compassion for ourselves and compassion for others. And it's been proven to increase empathy and a sense of connectedness to others. So if you want to get yourself comfortable, either sat, sat up or lay down. So if you're sat up, you'll have your feet on the floor, your legs uncrossed, and your arms on your lap with your palms facing upwards. And just make sure your back's supported and comfortable. And you can sit here comfortably for the next five or so minutes. And if you lay down, your arms by your side and your, your, your legs uncrossed and your feet just falling away from your body. You may want to pause the video and just get comfortable and then start the video plague again when you're ready. So if you like to close your eyes, just to keep the outside world uh, from distracting you, but if you want to keep your eyes open, that's fine. Maybe focus on something softly in front of you just to keep your gaze still. And when you're ready, just take three or more deep breaths just to fill the belly and just to let your body know it's time to relax. You're switching off from the outside world, there's no danger. I'm just going to give your body and mind this time to rejuvenate and relax and send healthy healing hormones around your body. Just allow your breathing to fall back into its natural rhythm You need to take a deeper breath every now and again, whatever your body wants. You're just observing it. Now you can just bring into your awareness somebody that you feel love for. Somebody who love flows easily for. Maybe a child. Maybe a pet a newborn baby or a toddler or maybe a parent or a friend a partner a colleague just bring that person to mind and just notice any sensations that you have notice how the feelings of love affect your body Maybe a smile appears on your face as you think about them. 
Maybe you feel a, a swelling in your chest or warmth. But it feels good to love. And when you think about that person, that feeling comes easily. So with that feeling still still around, still available, think about yourself. Maybe imagine yourself in your mind's eye and just see if you can have those feelings for yourself. Those feelings of love, compassion and appreciation. Maybe you can think these words in your mind and think them about yourself. May I be happy. May I be healthy. May I ride the waves of life. May I be at peace. Whatever life may bring. And now just holding on to those feelings of love and appreciation. Bring to mind somebody who you don't have strong feelings for either way. You may just bump into them now and again and you might not even have a conversation with them, but you, do, you just know them, you know of them. Maybe a bus driver or a postman or a shopkeeper, maybe you're just a, a distant relative or a neighbour that you might just bump into every now and again and say a quick hello to. And just say these words in your mind. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you ride the waves of life. May you be at peace, whatever life may bring you. And now just focus back in on your breath, just to center yourself. And then see if you can bring to mind somebody who you might be having difficulty with at the moment. See who comes there in your mind's eye. Maybe somebody who's wronged you. Somebody who you're in a relationship with now and you're finding it difficult to be with them from time to time. Somebody who's irritating you. Just whoever comes to mind. Just see if you can hold them in your mind's eye and say, may you be happy, may you be healthy, may you ride the ways of life, may you be at peace, whatever life brings to you. Just notice all the feelings that you have, they're all valid. Just noticing them and accepting them. And now bring to mind your local community, maybe your workplace or place of education, maybe the street you live on or the town you live in. And then just spread that awareness, 
even larger to eventually encompass the whole world or the people or the animals or the, the life that makes up this universe and in your mind just say these words may we be happy may we be healthy may we ride the ways of life may we be at peace whatever life brings just bring your attention back to your breath There may have been a lot of emotions stirred there, so just centre yourself again. And know that all these emotions have a place. And they're all valid, they're all important. And as we acknowledge them and give them space, we can become more whole. So as we come to the end of our meditation, you may want to just take two or three deeper breaths Maybe become aware of what's going on outside of your body, in the room, the temperature, any noise, any sensations on your skin, on your clothes. And then just start to move your body gently by wiggling your fingers and toes, having a little stretch if that's what your body needs. when you're ready just open your eyes and come back to the room so I hope you've enjoyed today's meditation and maybe giving you something to think about the rest of today and just know that that quiet time that putting your body in that relaxed state has set, set you up well for the day have a good day and I'll see you tomorrow bye bye